Popular tastemakers are sure that we're getting an iPad 5 next week. Sony's schedule is at present unfocused on mobile, and Google is now offering the stock Android keyboard to everyone. I'm Jaime Rivera, wondering why Google allowed us to be tortured for so long. And this is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some Nokia EOS rumors. Yesterday we were kind of taken back because the photos that we saw were kind of fake and still we get some more photos today and apparently the device is real. You are getting a Nokia Lumia 920 design with a big camera hump at the back. Now we wonder if it's replaceable at some point, but anyways, real or fake? Leave us a comment down below. Do you believe that it's real or not? On the other hand, Sony has just sent out press invitations for an event to happen in Germany on June 25th, and apparently it'll be focused on mobile. So think about it. We've got WWDC happening on Monday, then we've got a Samsung event in London happening on June 20th, and now we've got a mobile event happening in Germany on the 25th for Sony. The question is, what are we getting here? Could it probably be that we are getting the Sony phablet that's been rumored? Stay tuned for that. Moving over to Google, the company has just made the bold move of offering their stock Android keyboard to the masses. It's being called the Google Keyboard on the Google Play Store. It's for free as of today. We know that a lot of you have been in the dark with some terrible keyboards from some OEM, so you can get it today, but it's being blocked for some countries apparently, so make sure you hit the links in the description as we've got the APKs for you to be able to download it. Now let's shift the focus over to Apple as the company seems serious about doing in-store repairs within their Apple stores. We now see leaked photos of the calibration tool that they're using after they fix your display within the Genius Bar. Now, an interesting note is that apparently the company is also working on a trade-in program, and this is much better because instead of having to ship your phone to a company and get the price for the phone, you'll be getting it right there at the Genius Bar. They'll tell you how much the phone is worth and what options you have. I would obviously remember the days when I just got a free swap, but still, this is much better than the customer service that you get from other companies where you pretty much have to end up without a phone for a week. And finally, for the hot news of the day, you know, it's no secret that almost every single iPad design has been leaked by case makers. They know how the product's going to look like, and they also know when it's going to be released. And according to case maker Heart Candy, the iPad 5 is ready to be announced at WWDC, meaning that if you want to get an iPad, most probably it'll be best for you to hold on to see what happens on Monday in WWDC's president, as apparently we will be getting this device announced. But that leads me to the question of the day. Are you holding out for an iPad 5? Are you shopping in the market right now for an iPad and you're hoping that the iPad 5 is your solution? In my particular case, I'll be honest with you, I'll take anything from Apple right now that's not the iPad mini. I really want to get rid of it. Uh, so leave us a comment down below. Do you want to swap your current iPad? Do you want to get this iPad 5? What are you waiting for? Leave us a comment. Of course, as always, for another scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.